Well, thank you all for uh, coming out tonight. You know, uh, Tony, there's an old adage, and I'm an old football player, and uh, like Rocky Atkins, I think we need a little pep talk, Brian. And that adage is that it's not how many times you get knocked down, it's how fast you get up. And so the challenge for this party and for those in this room who believe in middle class values, who believe that working people have a right to the American dream, who believe that health care ought not to be just for the privileged and the few, but available for everyone, who believe in the policies of a man like Steve Bashir, our challenge is to get back up. And we'll do that. When the sun rises in the morning, we may have had a bad night, but it's a new day. And I pledge to you that I'll double my efforts, and I think every Democrat in the House will do the same, and the Senate. And I challenge you to do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not over. A new day's coming. Our message has to be reflected upon. We can't let them miscommunicate what our core values are. We can't let them make people believe that we are not godly people. We can't make them believe that only Christians are Republicans and Republicans therefore are entitled to hold office. Now let me tell you, I'm going to admit I have not read the holy book from front to finish like some of you probably have, but my reading of our Bible shows that the word Republican or Democrat isn't used. And people sometimes ask me, Joe, in places like where you and I live in Benton and Prestonsburg, what would Jesus have been if he were alive? Would he have been a Democrat or a Republican? I don't know. Nobody knows. The Bible doesn't tell us that, does it? But I believe the Bible is a book of parables. God teaches us through lessons. We are children, and this is the primer that he uses to teach us lessons. So the lessons of our party are the lessons of the Bible, that you reach out to those who can't help themselves, that you offer hope where hope isn't, that you believe that tomorrow's a better day and that everybody ought to sacrifice to help those that aren't as lucky as you. Those are the middle class values that we support. And I don't know whether Jesus would have been a Democrat or Republican, and nobody else does, but I know this. He was a carpenter and a teacher, and I bet every carpenter and teacher I know are pretty good Democrats. And the other thing I know is that if, in fact, the Bible is a book of parables, Kim, Brent, like I believe it is, Think about this. Mary did not ride an elephant into Bethlehem that night. So you go home and you go to your church and you tell people, I'm a Democrat, I'm a God-fearing Democrat, I'm a Democrat that believes in the principles of the Bible that become the principles of our party, that this wealth accumulation in America has to cease, that people have to have a right to have an equal educational opportunity, that people have a right to have health care. The people have a right to enjoy the American dream and we will rebuild this party starting right here in Kentucky. And we'll start tomorrow and I promise you with all my heart, with everything that I have, that I'll work as hard as I can. I'll work 26 hours a day if you'll do the same. It was a night that some of us didn't see coming. But there's a dawn tomorrow. There's a dawn tomorrow that's going to be brighter and better and bigger and more hopeful than maybe anything we can have. Uh, we had great candidates. They projected the message of our party extraordinarily well. I am proud of Jack Conway. I'm proud of Adam Edlin. I'm proud of Andy Bashir. I'm proud of all of them. And you are too. But in this great representative democracy, the people have spoken. I thought General Conway said it so eloquently. So I would leave you with this message. Again, it's not how many times you get knocked down in a ball game, it's how fast you get up. You gonna get up with me in the morning? Yeah. You gonna go to church and challenge those people about values and morals and talk about the things that this party was built upon? Yeah. 
Say yes. You can say amen if you want to. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful trip back home. Be safe and believe in the party. You belong to the greatest political party that the world has ever seen. You belong to the party of Jefferson and Jackson and Clinton and Kennedy and, yes, Obama. And, no, I don't agree with everything that he does, but I'm going to tell you something. I believe in the core values that he represents, bringing the middle-class dream to every American. Now, I believe that there's a horse out there. It's not American Pharaoh. It's an Arkansas traveler. And that horse is bringing a lady jockey. And that horse and that jockey are going to come here to Kentucky next year and help us rebuild this party. Thank you, and God bless every one of you.